From the Global Newsroom in Toronto, this is News Final. Good evening and thanks for joining us. Well, just when residents around York University started feeling a little more secure, another sexual assault has shaken the neighborhood. This time, the female victim was attacked by two suspects, one with a knife. Now, this comes only hours after police arrest someone in connection with Thursday's attack. Laura Zilke has more. The list of violent crimes within a few blocks and over a few short weeks has grown again. In the wee hours of the morning, a 27-year-old woman was attacked by two men near Driftwood Ave and Strong Court. One of the men was armed with a knife. The woman was dragged into this hydro field and sexually assaulted. I know the fields I walk past there, I walk my dog there and I think it needs to be lit more. This latest assault is just a short walk from the York University campus, where just yesterday, a 30-year-old man was arrested for following, then sexually assaulting a 20-year-old student. The sad fact is that not even local activists were shocked to hear that there'd been another sexual assault in the area. The assumption, however, was that the assault had been on the York University campus and not here in the Jane Finch community. And having sexual assaults in Jane Finch is not really common. I mean, we do have g gun and gang violence. Stereotypes about the Jane Finch corridor have led to the suggestion that York's proximity to the infamous intersection is to blame. The Student Federation president says that's not true. If you look at some of the more serious incidences that have happened on campus, they're not, you know, folks from that community. They're, you know, former students from the university. So, you know, it goes to show that there's a deeper rooted issue. The city councillor for the ward that encompasses both the university and the Jane Finch neighborhood has a different take. He says density in the village just off campus is the problem. More people, more crime. Where the incidents happened, he believes, has given them more attention. And I don't think that, uh, as it relates to the rest of the city, uh, that, that our situation is any way disproportionate to what's going on uh, to other parts of the city. Police are searching for two suspects in this morning's Jane Finch sex assault. Laura Zilke, Global News.